For those of you who are new to the Mini 4-Wheel Drive game, here is an unboxing of the Japan Cup circuit. The Tamiya Racing Mini 4-Wheel Drive Japan Cup Junior Circuit comes in this huge box, and it weighs a lot. There's a lot of stuff in it. Very cool. So, let's open this up. And all I did was I slid open these top part, the top part here, and I'll show you what's inside. Inside, there is a little guide to all of the track parts. Um, also on this first cardboard layer here, this describes all of the various sections that you get. So these sections are designated by an ID number. So you get a curved section, eight of them, two straight sections, two bridge approaches, one wave, one underbridge section, two bridge sections, and two bridge supports. And you get a bunch of stickers in there too, I remember. So they might be here or inside there. So as you see here, I have another set right here. So this is actually my second set. And in the second set, I got a lot more cardboard stuff because the first one I bought used. So it didn't have a lot of this packing material. But as you see here, all of the parts are here and we're going to remove them from this box and we're going to add on to our existing track set. And we're gonna build something that's a little cooler than just an oval. So with the addition of this thing, which I believe, well, you can call it a bridge, or some people might refer to it as, um, well, I, I call it a dragon back, but I'm not sure exactly what the proper term is. I think a dragon back has more than one of these. But once you have something like this, you have kind of an underpass going here. So I believe, I believe you can have track going underneath this section if you loop it around a certain way. So yeah, this this part's each of these parts are very expensive for what they are. Like it's just plastic, but they charge a lot of money for these parts because apparently it's not that they're in high demand, they're actually in low demand because it's not that popular. This hobby is not that popular in the US, but it's gaining traction here and there. So the big problem is because it's in such low demand, a specialty hobby, they don't make very many of these things and it's very difficult to get these things from Japan, then the prices are very high on each of these parts. So you can imagine if this thing costs 100 and something dollars, this part here is going to cost a lot more. So yeah, so we're going to build something cool and see what we can come up with. So here's an example of what you can do by combining two Japan Cup circuit tracks. So you can create this elaborate configuration here with an underpass created by the Dragon Hump. You can also just create a longer version of this basic oval. So I'm not gonna say the possibilities are limitless because they're not with two tracks, but you can certainly create a lot of different designs. And a friend of mine suggested, why not put the lane changer right here in between the hump? So I think I'll need a lot more room in my living room for that. So maybe I'll do this outside. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video, everybody, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see more videos just like this one. See you, bye.